My name is David. The first day I met my friend Courage, I was riding a bike past the chap when I saw lots of people there, they were dancing. And I went and I called him in particular. And I asked him what they've been doing here. And he said they've been coming for a classes called seminary. He told me there's an activity at their chapel, so will I go with him? It was great. The unity and the smile among them. We met our bishop and he spoke to him about the church and I told him that tomorrow can he join me to come to church and David told me yes. President Nelson has instructed us to gather Israel and so Courage took upon that invitation and Courage came to me and introduced David to me and then the missionary started teaching him. I've been a member of the church for three months. Courage as my friend really transformed me to know about the gospel. I was really happy for transforming my friend. I hope to serve a mission someday after I finish my education because I want to serve and be like our Savior Jesus Christ and live my life like Him. Natalie invited me to go to ward camp. I have to give a lot of credit to my parents. They were the ones who first encouraged me. We drove onto the ward camp grounds and I just immediately could feel that this is where I wanted to be. We did like a testimony meeting. I do not like public speaking. I try to avoid it as much as I can, but I, I felt the spirit telling me, Natalie, go up. Hannah needs to hear me bear my testimony and she needs to hear that I know this is true. We started going to sacrament meeting. I started going with their family and to young women's activities. I just remember that I would count down the days um, until like the next young women's activity. The people, I think, were just so welcoming and so um, they genuinely cared about me and I could feel that. I think that that's a big part of what drew me to the church and what drew me um, to the gospel and made me want to learn more. The leaders of the ward were definitely always looking out for Hannah and just support her in whatever she needed. It kind of just made me feel like I belonged somewhere and I think that that was one of the things that I was really searching for when I started looking in and investigating the church. As you try to be a good friend, as you strive to get to know them and to love them in the way that the Savior does, then you're um, in many ways inviting them to come unto Him too. So when we're following the covenant path and we're keeping our covenants with Heavenly Father, then I think that just naturally brings us closer to the Savior. You never know how much you're going to impact other people. If you hadn't taken the step and if you hadn't done the small acts of kindness and the large ones, then I wouldn't know who I am and I can't even think about it. <laughs> well, my name is Eric Otain Banks uh, from Ghana. Well, I used to see these two young men in my town. And I remember them telling me that they are missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ and other saints. And they teach about Jesus Christ. My cousin encouraged me to be with the missionaries or to listen to them because she was a member too. And I think she wanted me to uh, enjoy the blessings she was enjoying at that time. I knew Eric when I was in junior high school. I was just excited because I didn't think that Eric was going to join the church. My cousin and you know, I felt that they loved me and they, they wanted something good or something better for me. They were just encouraging me, inviting me, and it made me uh, feel very comfortable coming to church. That is how I felt the alarm. After my baptism, it was like I was out of the spacious building to the rod of iron. And I know that there is darkness along the way. My cousin and Enoch helped me go through the darkness. He helped me hold fast to the rod. And that is and the important role they played in my life. How my family uh, responded, at first, they were not happy. I'm a Methodist, and my wife is a Presbyterian. I really believe that, that love, charity, this can change uh, people's hearts. I can see a great change in him. I can see that he is pursuing a good cause. I am who I am because of the decision I made to be baptized. I've come to learn much about the Savior. I came to love Him, I came to know Him. The positive change in my son's life portrays the whole church. The Lord can answer prayers.